a Star Trek show for the first time is broken into streaming top 10. That shows. was exactly mm-hmm. what yeah. I was going to say. Look at there. It is right there from our friends uh. at trekmovie.com. Uh, Picard becomes the first Star Trek series to break into streaming top 10 ranking. And uh, anybody have Photoshop skills should like do a thought bubble with Picard saying, it's about damn time. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Get on it, only, What was it, episode six that it, the metrics were for? Yes, they said so, it was for like the first half of oh, the season. Oh, is that right? Imagine yeah. what the end of it's going to be. I right? single handedly contributed at least 100 more views. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Katie. <laughs> I'm spamming it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. big news. I mean, that it's is and, huge. So, and I didn't okay, realize that was episode six. 310 million minutes of viewing as it reached its midpoint of the season. I think that's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. If we I've don't get legacy, long. I want to take a pe- I want to print that web page out and just like smack it across the Paramount executives and just be like, <laughs> this <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> we need a disclaimer that says we do not advocate for violence. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, wow, We're that's a lot of million now. minutes. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. So, congratulations to Picard. And yeah, I agree that by the time episode nine, the numbers for episode nine kick in, that thing is going to be in the top mm-hmm. five or top three. Especially yeah. with this like massive push that Paramount's doing for this last week of the show. And it's so nice to see. Like, Mm -hmm. Amory, you're lucky in New York. They posted something that they're going to have something running in Times Square. And it's like, it's like a three minute walk from my apartment. So I'm going to go like every night. We want a massive 3D thing. And every every night at 8 p.m. it's going to like take over Times Square. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Have fun. I can't wait. New York is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Although I didn't get tickets on one, for the Wednesday IMAX, that thing those went like crazy. Oh, website. that was that was that was a hot mess. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going either. <laughs> I love that. Then, like everybody started stalking the third party company, like looking up the company's back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, only Star Trek I, fans. I immediately want to know every was, detail of this situation. Right. And they're like, I saw they're like only down 0.01% of the time on its like logistics when you ask Google, like, is this a reliable They weren't ready company? for us. Yeah. No. But yeah. for an Android, <laughs> that is nearly an eternity. <laughs> True. Right. And for web servers, apparently. Right. Yeah. How cool was it that Walter loved first contact? Because that was a quote yeah. from first contact. Yeah. And that Walter cool. kept heaping love on William Shatner. So yeah. we fully expect Shatner to return that love on Twitter. I'm sure he's going to yes. be like, he's going to say like, oh man, I just finished watching Star Trek and chill and Walter Koenig at Walter Koenig. What a guy. Really yeah. love that dude. He's the <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we do have a poll in the live chat, everybody. So you can stop banging on the door about it. Um, and it's about Picard being in the top That's 10. That's how I but, know you're not a changeling. Actually. But that was, yeah, that was just yeah. episode six. So at some point when it maxes out, you know, whether the, the max is at episode nine or episode 10, do you think it will reach the top seven, top five, top three, or number one? <laughs> Let us know. It should Let be number one know. just so everybody can say that. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. We are number one. Ryan can say that over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have seen an interesting thing, though. As this season has, like, snowballed and picked up steam, it's also picking up stragglers who maybe stopped watching halfway through season one or, like, a yes. lady I met at the con today. She, stuck, she said she was stuck in the middle of season two. And I told her, I was like, I don't care what you have to do. The finale of season three is coming up on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Get it. <laughs> Be like, ready. It yeah. seems like it's dragging people in like yes. a black hole of goodness. So many people are like coming back to Star Trek from like the 90s to watch it. Mm-hmm. I've been really blown away by that. Um, yeah, I mean, like this top 10 list that Hollywood Reporter shared, they actually give the minutes for everybody in the top 10. And I mean, it is they are like a hundred million minutes behind number eight. But with that huge push. 
that Paramount's doing this last oh, week, yeah. it could easily change. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plus, like, how many people are going to rewatch it? And, like, and I mean, that must be so good for Paramount streaming. Because, like, none of the other... I, I think this is only the second time a Paramount Plus um, show has broken the top 10. I'm assuming the first, the other one oh, really? or something. Wow. Yeah. So that's like a massive thing. That's for a good them. point. Well, what about uh, Yellowstone? That was a pretty big one. That's right? my guess. I feel like that was, num- I feel like that was number one uh, recently, which my is also is pretty big. Yeah. That's but is it on the air deal. now? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about I it. I haven't either. <laughs> I just know that it's a thing. <laughs> 